I've been working the late night shift at Taco Bell for a while now, and I've seen my fair share of strange and creepy customers. But the other night, I had the creepiest one by far. It was around midnight, and I was manning the drive through window, taking orders and handing out tacos like it was any other night. For reference, I'm an 18-year-old female. It's a completely normal night when I see this guy roll up in an old beat-up sedan. He looked to be in his mid-thirties, scruffy beard, and wearing a cowboy hat. I asked him over the intercom what he would like to order. The first thing that caught me off guard was when he said I had a sexy voice. I ignored this and kept the conversation professional. He finally placed his order and pulled up to my first window. As I handed him his bag of food, he leaned in and said, You're pretty cute, you know that. We should go out sometime. I laughed nervously, trying to brush it off, but he didn't stop. He handed me a crumpled up piece of paper. He said his number was on it and I should call him. I didn't know what to say, so I muttered a polite, I'm not interested, and tried to move on. But this guy was persistent. He started telling me how he'd been watching me for a while now, and that he knew my schedule. He even knew which car was mine in the parking lot. I was feeling really uncomfortable when he said, I'll be waiting for you, baby. I didn't say anything back and just closed the window on him. I went to my manager and told him how freaked out I was. He told me to take a 15 minute break and cool down a bit. I sat at one of the tables. I looked out into the parking lot and saw that the man had parked his car right next to mine. He was sitting in it with his headlights on. I took a picture of his license plate. I didn't know how far this guy was going to go, but I needed it just in case I had to go to the police. I eventually had to get back to work. When I finished up that night, his car was gone. I had my manager walk me to my car because I was afraid he was hiding somewhere. I drove straight home and made sure my whole place was locked up. It's been about a week since this all happened and I haven't seen the guy come around. But he could be stalking me still because he knew all that information about me. I'm hoping that's the last I see of that creep. Let this be a lesson to everyone working those late night shifts. Be cautious of the weirdos who might come through your drive through And don't hesitate to call the authorities if things start to get seriously creepy. Stay safe out there. Okay, so I still can't explain how or what happened to this day. It was around 11 p.m. and I was craving some late night Taco Bell. Yes, I know it's unhealthy, but when you smoke the devil's lettuce as much as I do, it really hits the spot. I pull up to the Taco Bell and walk inside. I was by myself and going to meet with a friend after. The place was nearly empty. There was just a couple of employees working and one other customer waiting for their food. I place my order and take a seat at one of the booths near the bathroom. The one customer got their food and left. It was now super quiet in there, except for the faint hum of the soda machine and the occasional laughter from the employees. About five minutes pass, and I notice something strange out of the corner of my eye. The men's bathroom door was ajar, and I see a pair of eyes peering at me from the crack. Uh, First, I think it's just a prank or someone messing around. Yes, I was high at the time, but what I was seeing was real. I quickly forgot the eyes as they called my name to come get my food. I get back to the table and start eating. I'm taking a sip of my drink and look back up at the bathrooms. This time, there was someone staring at me again from the crack, except now it was from the girl's bathroom. I took a closer look. The eyes were just staring at me, unblinking, and with disturbing intensity. I couldn't even see the person's face, just the eyes. I was trying to tell if it was an employee or something and stood up. When I did, the door to the bathroom closed. I was high and decided to go confront whoever was in the bathroom. I walk over and push the door open. To my shock, there's no one inside. The bathroom was empty. 
I then opened the other bathroom, thinking they had to be in here. But no, that one was empty too. I'm utterly baffled and freaked out at this point, wondering if I'm just imagining things. I quickly leave the bathroom and return to my seat, trying to convince myself I'm not crazy. I get back to eating my meal and looked up. Those eyes were looking at me again, except I could see their face this time. They were peeking around from the corner of the restroom entrance. It looked to be some old guy. I had had enough. I went up to the employees and told them someone strange keeps looking at me. We all went back to the bathrooms. And of course, no one was there. I looked and felt like a crazy person. The employees basically looked at me like I was wasting their time. I grabbed my food and left. I don't know who or what I saw in that Taco Bell, but I'm never going back there at night. So I'm thoroughly convinced the Taco Bell I work at is haunted. Here's my story. It was about 1 a.m. when we finally locked up the doors and started cleaning up. Me and my co-worker, Sarah, were both pretty tired and just wanted to get home. We had just finished cleaning the dining area when I glanced over at the kitchen and I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I thought I saw a black figure standing by the prep area, but when I looked again, it was gone. I figured it was just my imagination playing tricks on me due to the late hour and the dim lighting. It was so unconcerning to me at the time that I didn't even mention anything to Sarah. We both decided to split up to finish the cleaning. I went to the front counter area and she headed to the kitchen. About two minutes passed and I heard Sarah scream from the back. I rushed over to see what was going on and she was staring at the prep area. I asked her what happened but she was too scared to speak. We both stared at the prep area and that's when I saw it. The ingredients were scattered all over the floor and there was a trail of lettuce leading into the walk-in refrigerator. We cautiously opened the fridge and found nothing inside but a single note. The note read, I craved the taste of your fear, and now it's time for you to savor mine. We freaked out and decided to check the security footage. We saw ourselves cleaning, and then there was a glitch in the video. When it cleared up, there was a blurry, ghostly figure standing by the prep area. We didn't waste any time getting out of there. We called our manager and let them know what happened. He thought we were pranking him, but we weren't. The next day, he came in and we showed him the footage. He's just as baffled as Sarah and I. Needless to say, Sarah and I don't work night shifts alone anymore. I absolutely refuse to. We still have no idea who or what was in there with us. That place is seriously haunted.